Hey everybody, Tony here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve issues when trying to run Plex, MB, or any other DLNA server on a Synology NAS. Basically the issue comes down to port conflicts. Plex, MB, MediaTomb, any other DLNA server you're wanting to use to share media across your network to like your, maybe your old PS3 or a, Kodi, or a Kodi client, they need to use port 1900 for discovery. And that, that port's already in use by other services on the Synology NAS. But it's pretty easy to solve, and that's what, that's what we'll go through and, sh and show here. Just as an example, I'm trying to run Plex inside a Docker container. And if I go here and look at the details, you can see I'm trying to bind port 1900 so it's available outside the container. When I hit start, it's going to give me an error message saying, hey, like Docker could not start the service because it was an issue. If I go over here and look at the logs and hover over it, it says port 1900 is already in use. So how do I find out what's using port 1900? Well, I couldn't find a way to do that in the web interface here of Synology, but it's pretty easy to do if you go into an SSH console session. So that's what I did. If I go down here and I go into a console, uh, the command I want to run is netstat. In this case, I need to run it as sudo because if I don't do that, then I'm, I won't get all the information I need. So I'm going to do sudo netstat and I want it to give me everything, everything that's listening or all the connections that are going out or in through, through the Synology NAS. I want it to tell me what programs are linked to different, to different ports or different listening uh, connections. And I want it to give me, uh, don't give me all the numbers. Don't, give, don't take port 80 and turn it into text like HTTP or port 443 and turn it into HTTPS. Just give me 80 and 443. Then what I'm going to do is pipe that to the command grep, and this is a filter. So it's going to give me only the lines that are that match this filter, and I'm just looking for things that match port 1900. I got to type in my password, and that's the output. So over here, this service mini SSDPD is bound to port 1900, and that's what's that's why Plex in the Docker container cannot start. So what is this? It's just a SSDP is a part of the universal plug and play protocol. I think it was mostly used for Windows discovery. And that's where we get our hint on where we need to go next. So if I go over here to resource monitor and I look in under task manager services, I can go down here to Windows network discovery. And I just found this while just clicking through all these services and look, mini, SS, mini SSDPD, that's the service. Now the question is how do we stop it? Well. Network discovery, that should, that's going to fall under probably the file services, and in fact it does. So if I go over here to control panel, under file services, you can scroll down here and hey look, there's this WS discovery. Local network connections can use Windows network discovery to access files on your Synology NAS. And you would think unchecking this would solve your problem. It doesn't. This, this is not, this checkbox does not associate itself with S mini SSDPD. Instead, we have to go under advanced. And look, hey look, SSDP, it, local network devices can use Windows Network Discovery to access the web interface of DSM. I don't find that very important. If I need to get into the web interface of the Synology NAS, I can just go to the port, the IP address of, of, the, of the NAS, and, and log in. So I think it's okay to disable this. So all I have to do is uncheck that box, click Apply, and now we can go down here and now the service is gone. And if I go back over here to Docker, select my container, start. And that's it. It's solved. All right. That's all I got for you guys today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it around. And until next time, have fun.